Okay, so in this short video, I'm going to uh, discuss with you the piecewise defined function, and we're going to talk about how to evaluate a piecewise defined function. Uh, piecewise defined functions are a little bit different than the functions you've seen uh, in the fact that um, these types of functions are defined using two or more equations based off of different intervals of its domain. So piecewise defined, think different equations, let me write that here, for different intervals of its domain. So in our example here, the function f of x, it's piecewise defined by negative 4x plus 3 if our values of x in the domain are less than 3. We have negative x cubed if our value of x is greater than or equal to 3 or less than or equal to 8. And then our value of f of x is going to be 3x squared plus 1 if our value of x in our domain is greater than 8. So let's go ahead and begin with um, a, a simple a few exam examples for, uh, for this problem. So using that function before, let's find f of negative 5. Okay? So if we remember our function here, let me copy and paste it here from this slide here. Let's do copy, get on the other slide, and paste it, and then we'll move it over as needed. Let me pull this up here a little bit. Okay. We have to think to ourselves, what, what you should think about is, okay, which of, which of the three intervals, which of these three intervals here is negative 5 in? Is it less than negative 3? Is it greater than or equal to 3 and less than or equal to 8? Or is it greater than 8? Well, negative 5 lies in this part of the domain. So our value of the function f evaluated at negative 5 is going to be defined by negative 4 times negative 5 plus 3. And when we evaluate that, negative 4 times negative 5 is positive 20, plus a 3 is 23. Okay, if we do a second example here, where I say find f of per se 12, we look, okay, we look at the intervals of our domain, and where does 12 fall? Is 12 less than 3? No. Is 12 greater than 3, greater than or equal to 3, or less than or equal to 8? No. Is 12 greater than 8? Yes, it is. So we will use the last part, the last equation there that defines our function, and we'll say f of 12 equals 3 times 12 squared plus 1, and then 3 times 12 squared is going to be 3 times 12 squared is 144, so 3 times 144 is 432, plus 1 is 400. And 33. These graphs look pretty interesting uh, as well, but I'm not really going to go into the graphing part in this video because it gets a little, a little hairy. Um, you need to know what the uh, key functions are and what the key functions look like, uh, and I'm referring to the quadratic function, the constant, the linear, um, 
the cubic function, the square root, the cubed root function, uh, and so forth. Um, so uh, that's pretty much all there is for this section uh, in term or this video in terms of uh, content. Uh, relatively short, sweet, and to the point. Um, I'm looking at your homework here. We're going to do or your assignment. We're going to do page 100 of the book, numbers 25 through 28. And you're going to do exactly what we what I did in that first example with you guys, the first two examples. Figure out which um, domain interval um, your value of x is in, and then evaluate it in that respective equation.